Welcome back to Coffee Talk. Nice to see you guys here again. It's been great. I miss you. You know, I often wonder, what would it be like if I did open a coffee shop? And I decided, why not? So welcome to my coffee shop. You can have whatever you want. You can touch me about anything. I am a confidant. And I promise you, you'll feel great just by unlet, um, get telling your stories or troubles you woes. But anyway. Hope you guys are enjoying. <laughs> so let's continue with coffee talk. The first day we met three people: Freya, Bailey's, and Lua. Today, let's we meet on Wednesday, September twenty third, twenty twenty. All right. The evening whispers. Free of charge. Wednesday, September twenty third, twenty twenty. Zombie virus from Africa may have re uh, reached Seattle. Seattle grocery distribution problems harm local restaurants. Fire plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigration. Oh, shut up. The hell? Fred, the hell? Good gracious, Fred, don't do that to my door. Don't break it. What is wrong with you? Can you just enter like a normal customer? I'm sorry. But I'm so excited I share this with you. What are you talking about? I know what to write for my novel. Is it one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? Hey, don't be rude. I'm serious here. Well, don't stand my door open, why don't you? Okay, okay, just tell me what are you going to write about? This coffee shop. What? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and people who come here. Are you for real? Yes! What if I say you can't do that? I'm not asking permission. It's like a breach of customer personal lives, you know. Relax, I know that. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will be loosely based on what I hear and see. Here. How loosely based? Knife Walker novel versus the level loosely based. The old one. Of course I'm not talking about the old one. Hmm. That's already very different, you know. You can't get more different than that. I mean, it's not like I tell you not to write about a coffee shop, right? But I can kick you out into the rain, write your story out on the bench. Here are the stories of the bench walkers. <laughs> bench walkers. No, you can't. Although you can just ban me from coming. Okay, you're banned. <clears throat> what? Just kidding? But seriously, you're banned. I wouldn't do that to my loyal customer. Very funny. Thanks for not banning me, though. Anyway, I'm really excited to see who's going to come tonight. I wonder what kind of stories they'll have. Good evening, y'all. Good evening, Officer Jory. Georgie. Hey, Pop. Seems like you're on a nice beer this evening, Miss Freya. And please, Riley, no need to be that formal with me. <laughs> We're both on duty here. Hence the formalities. You are as stiff as ever. Anyway, I have a shift tonight. So, I'll need the usual. Do you have all the ingredients today? Not everything, but more than yesterday. Except for tea. I'm out of tea. You still remember my favorite, right? Coffee with a hint of sweetness. You got that right. Make sure not to use milk. Yeah. Thanks for your Tamadachi profile. Everyone knows your lactose intolerant, Georgie. Anyway, a cup of sweet, healthy bean juice. Healthy coffee, please. Alright. And what do you want again? Uh, a cup of sweet, healthy coffee. Alright, so what do you want? Uh, we have espresso, caffeine boost dominated by milk, Italian delight. Blacker than um, moonless night, hotter than better than Russia itself. 
green tea latte, both sweet and savory with a hint of bitterness for the heart. Uh, chocolate, dark chocolate. All right, so healthy coffee. So coffee, and let's do honey and honey. Does that sound right, officer? Officer? One pipe out coffee, sweet, healthy coffee. Coffee with honey for the man on duty. Not everyone can manage the combination as well as you can. Thank you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything myself. Provide me the service that you gave the old pop here, please. What are you having? You still need to ask that, huh? You never know. Espresso, of course. One and only espresso. Well, let me get the espresso cup of coffee. One espresso coming up for Freya, the goddess of green hair. A starless night sky for the green haired fairy. I'm not even sure whether that's a compliment or not. This is perfect. So, is everything going at the paper, Miss Freya? As usual. She's making a risky deal with her boss. Oh, she's making a risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal are you talking about? A possibly life altering deal. A very dangerous one at that. Okay. A deal she re regretted. Not that much. Folks, seriously. Can't you share the details properly? You tell her. She's secretly using her work hours to do something else. Right? Something like writing her own novel. You got balls, I can tell you that. She does. Gee, thank you. How's the leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. And I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Good luck with that. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least, not yet. Her life will be pretty hard if she miss, uh, misses the, this thing up, though. Thank you for the reminder. So yeah, as Riley said, my editor-in-chief doesn't know about it yet. But my novel is going to be published by our parent company anyway. So technically, I'm still doing work for the company. She'll, uh, she'd be really pissed off if she finds out, though. Wait. Is stealing time is stealing time a crime? Tell me I might have to arrest you. Hey, you do it all the time too. Those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes it might need to take longer than I meant to. But still, coffee breaks. You're making me feel worse by saying that. You should feel bad. Stop adding salt to the wound, okay? It's just a fact. <laughs> I'm not sure whether this will make you feel better or not, but if your writing career goes up in flames, the police force is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. Just don't mention you like to do other things during working hours. I want to say thanks, but I feel like I should be offended. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Miss Freya. Do you have any idea what you're going to write? I have, actually. Oh, good. What will it be about? A coffee shop and the stories people tell inside. You're letting her do that? It's not stopping her. What's wrong? Please don't write any... Sh don't write... <laughs> Please don't write by any shady-looking police officers who love to take breaks and when they shoot you inside the coffee shop you proposed. I'm not saying that's me and all, but, you know... Just leave that part out, will you, ma'am? Uh, ma uh, ma <laughs> I will definitely write about that police officer. You're my good comedic character. Was, it not, was that a compliment or are you trying to make fun of me? Eh? I would call that a compliment. Is it? I don't think so. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? You stand open my door to my coffee shop. 
for Alice probably worry about losing customers due to breach of privacy. <laughs> Come on, it's not like I'm using real names. This old and I'll dramatize most things I've heard of, of course. That's even worse. Here's the thing. The stories I've heard are only be inspiration of what I write. By the way, as someone stationed here, I assume you've heard a lot of stories from the people around here, right? No. Come on. Nope. No, no, no. You helped me once with one of the stories I wrote for the paper. What about the secretly rich beggar hanging around the block? I'm sure you could give me other interesting tips. I helped you way I helped you more than that once actually. What? Really? No, it's my turn to say it. Come on. Which stories are you talking about? Do you ask for information about the busker? The one who's always playing his guitar or always got a rose with him? Oh yeah, that guy. Yes, poor guy. Hearing about your girlfriend passing during investigation is I don't know. That's hard. He took you quite well to be honest. It was all, but at least you gave him closure. He never complained that you used his story for the paper. God's blessing for giving it to the editors. Well, at least you have become more pop well, at least he's become more popular since your article was published. More income for someone in his line of work. Yeah, the rest has become some kind of prop for him now. Anyway, back to the topic. Any hot tips? Okay. Have you heard about this one girl? Ooh, tell me, tell me, tell me. Lately, this girl has been coming to a coffee shop in the area more than, more than ever. More than ever before. It's pretty weird. I don't know what her deal is. Well, she's she has bright green hair. Oh, come on! I was so excited to hear about something real. You think you're not real? Wow, that went too fast. <laughs> fast for my career going downhill. Oh, you're not a southern male. <laughs> fast for my career going downhill. Hope you guys are enjoying this because I'm having a blast. <laughs> Hey, what's with a sudden mood? Yeah, cheer up, girl. Sorry, I'm having mood swings because of the pressure. You'll do just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, why this coffee shop? Because I spent a lot of my time here, I guess. And then there's this couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. What about them? They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't approve. When I heard their story, I kind of felt their pain. What happened to them happens to a lot of people. It's been told in fictional form countless times before. But it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are there regulars here? Nope, they just came in yesterday. The girl visited this place before, if I'm not mistaken. She was with her coworkers or clients. Helping friends sober up, I guess. You have people at coffee shop to sober up? Of course not. Some folks request coffee, but I recommend against it. I usually end up giving them tea, hot chocolate, or just plain water. That's nice of you. I hope they don't get pissed off about the wrong order. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Mm, good for you. Anyway, look at the time. It's time for my shift. Oh yeah, go on. Do your job, old man. Don't forget to share anything interesting you hear with me. Let's not make this a habit. Can I promise you that? Okay, it's then. See you later, everyone. Take care, Officer Georgie. Later. Alright, bye, Georgie. Hi, Georgie. You want a balloon? Nobody wants to play with me. I think I need to go back to my room. No offense, but I need to concentrate like crazy. So I'll move to my usual corner. If you like with the writing, and don't forget to keep yourself hydrated. Mm. Here, take this glass of water. Ooh, you're just the best friend. You're welcome. Okay, up to the world of imagination I go. Now, my keys are in my pocket. I wonder why my phone was hurting. Go on.
Hmm. That should do for that should do for the experiment. Ah, uh, someone's coming. Oh, welcome, Mr. Gala. Hi, Riley. Can we sit here? Sure thing, sir. This is recommended. You don't like it? It's fine. I know it's not like the coffee shops you're used to in LA. But. It's fine. Sorry to interrupt. Do you want to order anything? Yes. What do you want to drink? Okay. Anything with coffee or ginger, please. Anything with coffee or ginger, please. So. Tamadachi. Hi, right, Freya. Birthday, 20, uh, January 29th. Right up for the evening whispers. Talks about mundane things like art, life in general. Myself, summary journalists and short story writer. You can read my uh, surreal and weird short stories at the Evening Whispers. Idolize and aspire to be someone like Gyo, Naiman, or Maruki uh, uh, Harukami. So that's right, don't they? Alright, Sorji. Uh, birthday, June 1st. My born and raised in Seattle, a lactose intolerant cop. Gala. September 13th. Friends only, close friends only. By uh, Lua. Uh, birthday, October 2nd. Volte ame est un payase choisi. Whatever the hell that means. Bailey's Freelance Designer. Birthday, August 10th. Freelance Designer. Number one is Pumpkin Spice fan, so I figured if I'm in Spice, I can make him one. Myself, summary freelance designer, museum and art gallery frequenter. Art school graduate will draw and design for food and shelter. You want to draw me up an uh, advertisement for my uh, place? Group had coffee and ginger. Driving from the coffee and coffee, coffee and ginger, I think. So, yeah, let's do coffee, coffee and ginger. The order is ready, sir. Thank you. How about you, sir? What would you like to order? Is it good? I like it. Not sure if you'll be to your liking or not. Okay. I'll have whatever you say. Coffee, coffee. Ginger. Brew! Yes! You're a brew this day. I'll be, uh, brew. <laughs> Here you go. Hopefully, you gin hopefully you gingerly like it. Here's your order. Hmm. Good choice. Anyway, how's the town treating you so far? Same. No surprise. Same. Same. Changes after just a few years. Yeah, things change a lot in just 20 years. Even this coffee shop. I think this was a lot. When did you open this coffee shop? Uh, we opened around six years ago, mister. Hi, right, my name is Hi. From what I gathered, you're from LA, right? I am. I used to live here decades ago. What brings you back to Seattle? I'm here for work. Uh, probably be here for a few weeks. You travels a lot. I see. Okay. I see. You two have known each other for a long time, I assume. You can see that. Yeah, I knew we met not so long after you got married, right? I was around in the 60s, I believe. Wow, that was a long time ago. Not far ago. What if I'm not mistaken? The place, uh, the peace treaty between werewolves and vampires was signed in 1865. So, when you guys said you met in the 60s, were you talking about the night in the 1860s? <laughs> now, no, we met in the 1960s. We're old by some race, by some race standards, but not that old. 
Although it's still fair to say that we haven't seen each other for a long time. Yeah, when I was a bar. They moved? Bankrupt. Uh-huh. Uh, Gappy, the bar closed down. What's with a smile, if you don't mind? <laughs> I'm just wondering what this review is. I certainly hope not. Pull out mine to this company. I certainly hope not. We're going to come here for... Uh, I've been coming to your place since the first week you opened. You got something special here. I won't close down anytime soon. Thank you, Mr. Gallo. Speaking of which, it's been quite a while since your last visit. Busy at work? Kinda. With the news about the newfound virus going viral, the hospital has been extremely crowded. Is the virus that dangerous? No one is sure about that. But most people come are in just, I don't know. I don't want to use this word, but they're just paranoid. They're still doing the same job as the hospital. Why? Who's Who's admission officer. And yes, I'm still at a hospital admission officer there. They should have given me promotion for your kids here. They want service. They offered me a managerial position. But I declined. I prefer doing this. Anyway, I was wondering, do they still sell the blood at your hospital? They do. Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore. It does orders through that blood market app. You know, they come with apps for so many things. And if this, this, like a vampire or something like that, could ever exist, you, I want the actual deal where they would get the blood. <laughs> sure, people donate blood all the time when they have a separate drawer. Say, ah, we have a drawer for uh, blood to get to people who are sick, and we have blood to donate to vampires who want a better living, cho uh, healthy choice, not sucking people's blood in the middle of the night. Ah, uh, let's go. So they have two baskets, one for vampires, one for people. Sorry. Uh-huh. The baskets are smaller than the hospital. They can. They can't smell really blood on their own. Only hospitals and the Ministry of Health can do that. They're just middlemen with a lot of sales promos. They use, they use it often. I'm trying to be interesting. Do not oh yeah, how's your vegan diet going? It's not easy. Not the vegan diet. Excuse me for asking. Going vegan? Do you mean you don't drink blood anymore? That's a real blood. Vegan blood. If you poke it, it lets you die. Synthetic blood. Synthetic blood? It's way too complicated to explain. Basically, some scientists want you to make some kind of blood that can be satisfied when you die. Not relying on real blood. Considering real blood as a cultural and health concerns. Does it taste the same? Yes, you know. Isn't it expensive? It is. I can afford it. But again, I'm still working on it. Try to make it more affordable for everybody. Hmm. Will synthetic blood taste good if I mix with other ingredients? Might I attract new customers? Like if you came and you wanted a coffee, I got a splash of blood to it. Yeah, but I'd rather serve every customer. Like, oh, we do sell human-based blood type here for vampires. Honestly, I don't know if mixing it would taste good. Most vampires are drinking raw blood. Well, some do try experimenting with other things. Other things? Mostly booze. But I know some mix it with not so legal substances. <laughs> I work in a hospital, remember? Hey, I'm not a vegan lifestyle. I'm learning to exercise. 
But what? You must have found a less painful method to restrain yourself. Not yet. But I don't. I do know that it's a drink. Kind of drink. A sort of combination of ginger and caffeine. Yes, I'm exploring the possibilities. But this drink wasn't the one. I guess there's too much caffeine and coffee for it to be the remedy. I don't trust him. Besides, that said it's too general. Each of us has our own remedy that we need to find. Sometimes effectiveness can change as we grow older. Enough to calm me down. And that's all I need to be honest. At least your calming method is only a drink. There are some others I need to do. Kinky stuff, which is so scary. Ooh, what kind of kinky stuff? Fighting? Just my neck anger, my ears rubbed, and a belly rub as well. <laughs> God, I'm so scary. <laughs> what kind of kinky? Happens in porn, and this is no porn. <laughs> and experiments among our kind, but you don't have to feel ashamed if you like watch that kind of thing, you know. Well, he was pulling your leg. I mean, having sex as as a common method is pretty common, but normally we stick to vanilla stuff, like doggy. <laughs> Exactly! So, continuing your story. How far along do you find the things for the remedy? So far, all I know is that involves ginger. Probably something lightly caffeinated. Like tea, maybe. You better write that down. You can write that down. You'll probably you won't want to drink three and a half of the We don't have any tea today. But the next time you're visiting, maybe I can try brewing that remedy for you. That would mean a lot. Excuse me for a moment. I'm sorry, I have to go now. There's an emergency at the hospital. Alright. Thank you for the drink. Thank you for coming. Uh, take care on your way home. Hey, Dylan, you ready for tonight? Kinda. Those two guys kinda remind me of this video I saw online. I prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. This is a video of a wolf paw playing with a baby, uh, baby tiger. It's nice to see friendships that grow in unlikely circumstances. Oh, well, that video. What? What video did you think I was talking about? You know. I was just joking. Please don't do jokes. Really bad at it. Anyway, that was a pretty interesting and productive night. But now I need to get some sleep. Yes, don't please don't forget to get some rest. I'll see you tomorrow again, I assume. Oh, well, don't worry. I'll be here tomorrow. Night night. Be careful on your way back. Eshin Genmachia. A variation of Japanese brew mixing of brown rice with ginger. Alright, so I think that's what I'm calling call for this video. Looks like I'm going to be making these 30 minute videos. I'm not, it doesn't look like any much editing done for us, like maybe doing some clips here and there. But I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I know I'm still enjoying making it. I don't think I'll be able to, um, I'm having a good time uh, doing the videos. I'm really enjoying the game so far. A lot of the characters have a lot of personality, which I really like. If you guys have any favorite characters, let me know in the comments down below. It would mean so much to me. Um, let's see, what else? I can't think of anything else. If you want to see more videos like this, or content like it, please leave a like on this video so that way you know you want to see more. Subscribe to my channel. It'll help me grow as a content creator to bring you guys better content, better videos. Make sure you guys are enjoying the videos as well. Uh, you can leave a comment down below. 
and I'll reply back to as many people as I can, and I'll also post some of them in the next video as long as they're appropriate. Uh, lastly, do not forget that bell icon to be notified when and if I remember to upload a video. I, I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Bye!